Hey, my YouTube family and friends, it's me, Antoinette, and I wanted to send a video to you today. Today is a good day for me. Um, so, I wanted to send a video and kind of share with you some of the symptoms of uh, <clears throat> this this. Uh, audio, autoimmune disease that I have. Um, it is called neuromyelitis optica and this past weekend was a rare disease day and so I have my shirt on. Uh, my uh, daughter and son-in-law made this shirt for me and I wear it when I go to uh, my rituxan treatment because it keeps me warm. So, but anyway, I don't want to make this video really long, but I do want to share with you some of the symptoms that we go through uh, before we're diagnosed with this rare disease. So, bear with me for a minute. All right. So, the first thing uh, it says is pain in the eyes. Now, I don't recall having pain in my eyes. I could have, but again, um, that that time be, while I was being diagnosed, my memory of some of the things is real blurry. So I don't recall a lot of the things. So I rely on my daughters to help me remember some of the things. So pain in my eyes, I don't recall. But I did uh, have a loss of vision in my left eye. I'm sorry, in my right eye. Um, and I still uh, have not recovered from that yet. So I have loss of vision in my right eye. Uh, my next one is, it says weakness, <clears throat> weakness or numbness in your arms and legs. Now, before I was diagnosed, I was having some weakness in my arms and legs, but you know, um, I was, a, I, I worked a lot. And so a lot of these things I just attributed to being tired. Um, and I just kept moving, not realizing that it was something more serious. I also suffer from polymyalgia. And so a lot of the things I was just trying to push through because I thought it was that disease. Um, but it was actually something else going on. So yeah, so that's the numbness in the arms and the legs. Um, and then they have paralysis in the arms and the legs. Well, paralysis, I didn't suffer from paralysis, but I do know that when I was in the hospital, I had to learn how to walk again. So it wasn't paralysis. It was my brain. Um, you know, I had to try to connect the dots again. And so it wasn't paralysis, but that was serious. That's serious too. Yeah. Um, another thing it says is difficulty control controlling your bladder and your bowels. Uh, yeah, that's a serious move right there, people. Uh, incontinence, that's a serious one. That was a serious one for me. Um, but as my doctor said, my primary doctor said to me, and when I told her, and I was telling her while, I, and I was crying because I was like, you know, um, y'all, I'm peeing on myself. And she said, yeah, you know, I had, our, I had already read it, but she was like, uh, yeah, that's one of the things that goes with N NMO. And she simply said, go buy some pads, you know, and then I, I looked, you know, I, I kind of realized, you know, yeah, um, it could be far more serious. I could not have control of my bowels and, you know, I had, I had to think that through. So, okay, go get some pads, girl. And, and then that's what I did. And, um, 
you know, it goes and it comes, it goes and it comes. And I just deal with it as I do every other thing that I'm dealing with, with this disease as it comes, you know, um, hold up a minute. <laughs> Oh yeah, and the last things on my list are uncontrollable hiccups and vomiting. Now, Lord have mercy. I started vomiting at home. Um, I, I got to the hospital. Um, when I started losing my vision, they admitted me in the hospital. That was the first, that was the first thing. But then um, they gave me um, uh, some steroids and then they sent me home. Um, and then I started vomiting and I couldn't stop vomiting. And so my daughter took me to the, the emergency room and they kept me. And um, like I said, some of the my memory is blurry during this time, but I do remember vomiting like Oh my God, I had no, I didn't understand why why this was happening. And my daughters also share with me that I had the hiccups really bad. But see, I don't remember the I don't remember that. Um, but I was truly dehydrated. I was I was in a terrible state, and um, so they fed me through that pick pick line. And um, I think I got that for three days and um, a whole bunch of other a whole bunch of other tests and everything that I'll share with you in another video. But um, I, yeah, I wanted to share with you my symptoms or the symptoms of the NMO neuromyelitis optica disease. Now, there is um, information online. There are uh, Facebook um groups for you to join if you have this disease um you got to find a really good neurologist you know um because <laughs> listen this is serious especially if you have another autoimmune disease along with this this is really serious um and i'm just getting a handle on what all of this really means so I'm I'm happy to have people in my life who um, understand my position and um, my pain and um, how I want to get back into the swing of things. But now I just I just realize my life is is not the same as it used to be, and I have to embrace my new normal and enjoy whatever space I'm in. Um, I, I base my days on numbers, my pain level numbers, and then I try to uh, live according to that number. I'm at a five today, and a five is really good for me, so that's why I said I'm gonna make a video for you all um, yeah, and so I hope that I can stay at a five. If I can stay at a five, I'm good. But sometimes people, I'm going to tell you, most of my days are seven and a half, eights, and all I can do is lay down and, um, lay down. I don't even want to do anything. I don't want to hold my phone up. I don't want to do anything. Um, <laughs> it's, it's, it can be really bad, you know? But thank God um, I'm not throwing up and I don't have the hiccups and I don't, I'm not in the hospital and I haven't had a relapse. And I was diagnosed in April of 2018 and I haven't had a relapse. Um, thank God, you know, I have people that I read about who suffer through relapses a lot. And that first one for me, that was enough. That was enough. So I'm really trying my best not to have another relapse. So listen, I'm going to go now. I pray that everyone is doing well. Thank you for listening. Remember to um, subscribe to my channel. Uh, I really will try to put new videos out. 
um, yeah, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification button um, if you'd like to know when I do another video. Uh, yeah, and remember to love someone and appreciate the small things. God bless.